Hi, my name is James Johnson. I'm here at GSC Systems right here in Vernon, British Columbia. I'm going to have an opportunity to give you a tour of the shop of where propellers are made. There's, they specialize in wood propellers. They're high quality and they'll be a perfect propeller for your application, whether it be paramotor, ultralight, or any other thing or motor that uses a propeller. So I'm going inside, get to meet the owner, Rick, and give you a tour on how a propeller is made. Hey, I just walked into GSC Systems. Here I have the owner of GSC Systems, the ultimate prop maker. This is Rick. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for having me here. You bet. Yeah, nice so to we're, we're going to shoot a video as if you were actually coming into the shop. A lot of times uh, you see wood props advertised on the internet. There are differences and I'm, I'm going to give you a tour of you know the processes of how Rick and Brian make a prop right here in Vernon, British Columbia. This is the first step of making a wood prop. I'm here with Brian. He's the, the master prop maker right here at GSC Systems. So Brian, tell us about the raw materials used to, to make the, the prop. Well, this is eastern maple, like Rick was saying. It's, it's from the east coast of the United States and Canada, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, but it is the, the, the finest wood you can get for making a propeller. Uh, we've been using this wood for 20 plus years. Right. And our customers are happy with the product. Awesome. So it really kind of comes down to getting high quality pro uh, wood to start the process. That, that's correct, yes, and uh, it's, it, it's ideal for this, for this usage. And uh, from this pile we go on to the uh, chop saw where we cut the, uh, the blanks, what we call, um, to the size of the propeller that we need to make. Awesome, let's go check that out. So now that we've selected a, uh, a, a long piece of eastern maple, What's the next step, Brian? Well, they're cut to length, James, to, uh, the, the, depending on the length of the propeller we're making, whether it be a 48 inch or 56 inch, yeah. uh, or anything in between. Yeah. Um, they go from here onto the table. These are the ones that are already cut okay. to length. Th this just happens to be a two uh, lamination okay. for a pair of motor. And then from here, they go into the glue room. So when you talk about lamination, you, you, all, you obviously need um, minimum two pieces of wood glued together to make the, you know, the it, width of the propeller. It all depends on the thickness of the propeller. Uh, some can be, well an ultralight propeller can be two and three quarters, uh, two and right. three eighths thickness in the hub. Okay. Uh, this one's going to be one and one inch hub thickness. Okay, so we've started with the long piece, we've cut the long piece into smaller pieces, and then we've got to figure out how many pieces we need to glue together to make the, the prop that we're going to make. That's correct, yes. So we've got the blanks that we've cut out to length that we need to make the propeller with. Um, what do you call this room? This is the glue room, where we uh, laminate the uh, two pieces or three pieces of wood together. Depending to on the size correct. of the propeller? Oh, that's correct. Okay. So you would spread the glue. So tell me about the glue. I mean, this isn't you know Almer's glue that we're using here. This is this is a special aircraft uh, aviation type glue from the UK. Awesome. Uh, we put it on one side of the board, and then the other side there's a uh, formic acid that goes on. Mm -hmm. When the two go together, it's a chemical reaction. Um, so you have, you have maybe about five minutes before it starts setting up. So you have to work fairly quickly in here. It goes on to the press. Yep. Usually about five high. Uh, we, we press it down at about 10,000 pounds per square inch approximately. Um, well, that's what the press will go to. It doesn't have to go that. Uh, probably between about right around 5,000 maybe. And then one, we leave it about five, six hours, usually overnight sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, then from here it goes in, back into the other room where we uh, cut our blanks out to the pattern that we want for the propeller we're making. Alright, so now we've glued these two pieces of uh, eastern maple together. It doesn't really look like a propeller, so I, I guess uh, behind us here we have lots of different propeller patterns. How many patterns do you guys have here? We have hundreds, James, uh, and each pattern has probably ten different pitches wow. available, depending on what the customer wants as far as the pitch of the propeller. So, so basically when someone wants to order a GSC Systems propeller, they have to tell you, you know, what the propeller is going to be used for, what engine, and... Reduction. That's very important. Mm -hmm. You want to know the proper RPM. Maximum RPM, and you don't want the engine to stall either. Right. So yeah, they, I mean, the sky's the limit here. They, they know what they're doing. They've got numerous patterns for hundreds of different engines. So decide what you want, and if you don't know what you want, just call them anyway, because they probably know what you need for your particular engine. So uh, what are we going to be using for this particular piece? Well, this particular one is, this pattern right here is going to be used. Okay. It's a left-handed turn propeller. So 
what we'll do is we'll, we'll bring it back over to the table. I've already marked the center hole and, and put a punch in it. Yeah. What we do is we'll, we'll put the, uh, the straight edge on here, mm -hmm. put it on our pattern, we'll lay it out, yeah. make sure it's into the center there, um, and we'll line it up on both sides just to make sure that it's covering all the wood, which it is. Good. And then from there we go on to the uh, center hole. We have to drill a one inch center hole out. Okay. So this fits on. And then this will fit back on there where I can get my uh, draw my pattern out with a pencil on okay. both sides. Cool. So we're just gonna drill the what's it, the center hole? The center hole out. Okay. At a one inch. Right under. Okay, so this is the hole that we just drilled from the, that uh, the drill press there. We're going to take our pattern. Pattern goes back on. Yep. The pencil comes out and we have to line the uh, lines up. Just like in elementary school, trace exactly. the pattern. On both sides. There we have our pattern. Right, so this is the start of the uh, the, the, the propeller that's going to be made out of uh, these two pieces of wood. That's correct. Awesome. Now that we have our pattern traced out on our blank, we're going to take it over to this machine here. What do you call this one this here? This is a bad saw where we trim the pattern out. Okay. I'll just trim one side just to show you an example here as to what we do. This side and the bolty side as well. Then once this stage is done, it comes back over and then we have to draw a, um, a line down the end of the prop to get where our center is. Because I have to put a punch hole in the end. So we're now in the CNC room and this is where the magic really happens because the propellers will, will really uh, start taking shape. That's correct, and uh, we, we put the propellers on here. We do two at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do four if we want, but uh, we just have to do, just do two. Yeah. Um, the one that I drew out in the other room mm -hmm. is now on here. And um, we start the machine up, and it, uh, it takes this process back and forth until the, uh, the proper pitch is cut out onto the uh, piece of wood. And this is all precise. So you'll notice that there's a computer here that's going to a video of the computer. And so when a cu customer orders a propeller specific for their engine, you guys will ha have all the codes. Like, how does that work? Well, yeah, each individual uh, propeller type and pitch is built into the computer. Mm -hmm. And we have different uh, disks, hundreds of different disks for each um, uh, type of propeller we're making. So what I'm getting at here is there's no room for human error. It's going to be exact pitch. That, that's right. It, um, the, that's the beauty of the CNC machine. It, mm -hmm. uh, it cuts at exact right pitch on both blades, not just the one like so. they used to do in the olden days. Uh, this is all high-tech stuff. All right. Can we turn this thing on? Here we go. Right, here we go. Thickness we want. This one will be one inch hub. 
So it has to come down somewhere in that vicinity there. Right. It'll match right up with that. Okay. And then that's pretty much done for this room. Excellent. This and so we, this is the finish of this room. Where, where does the propeller go now? Well, from here it goes, it gets cut to size. This one's going to be 48 inch. Okay. Um, so I'll cut it off on the bandsaw again. Um, and then we go into the sanding room where awesome. I'll sand it and balance it. This is where we sand and balance the propellers. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a quick uh, example as to how we do it here. Okay. Um, I'll put my mask on first. So that looks pretty easy. How easy is it to sand, sand you know, the entire propeller and, and what are you sanding off? Well, the, the rubber lines you have to be sanded off mm -hmm. and it also has to look uniform and any imperfections that you might find, splinter, right. um, we have to make sure the tips are the right uh, the width, thickness on both sides, not just the one. Uh, the hub has to be sanded out properly. Yeah. This is the bottom side here. Flip it over and do the same with the top side. Right on. So I guess this is where experience really comes into play here. It takes many years of practice to do a proper, in a reasonable amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it, uh, it is an art all in itself. Uh, what do you do after you sand it? Well, in the sanding process, it's very important that, that it's balanced on mm -hmm. both sides. Okay. So this is our balancing beam right here. Okay. Yeah. Go right through the center, onto the beam. And as you can see, it's out of balance. So I'd have to take material off this side to balance the uh, propeller properly. Excellent. Here we're inside the paint room. So we've got a um, almost finished propeller. We finished sanding it, and obviously we have to put some sort of protective coating on it. Well. Polyurethane paint. We, okay. we paint on in here. Mm -hmm. So it's put, it's put onto the rack here, usually about 10 at a time. Mm -hmm. We're just showing an example here. Um, but it, it goes on to paint the uh, one side first, the spray gun, and then it flips over, yeah. and then it'll do the other side. Cool. So how long does it take to paint, and then how long do you, do you wait for it to dry? Oh, to do about 10 props, approximately an hour to paint. Okay. And the dry time is a few hours, uh, overnight, preferably. Excellent. So I'm standing beside a prop balancer, and how important is it to have a propeller balanced? Well, it's very important, and uh, once it comes out of the paint room, we, we double check it again on this balancer here, right? and um, just make sure it's in balance, and as you can see, it's, it's perfect. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example with a piece of paper here, yeah. how much tolerance there is on the balancing. Wow. So you just this, that, that little tiny piece of paper brought that down that much. That's how important it is to have proper balancing. And you do that throughout various stages of making a propeller. Yeah, in the sanding room is the first stage. Mm -hmm. And while, while he's painting is another stage. And a final check out here. And then the final check right here. Excellent. So there you can, you know that what, every propeller that leaves the GSC systems is perfectly balanced for your paramotor or ultralight. That's right. Okay, this is the last and final stage in making a propeller. Obviously, they've got to wrap it up and get it ready for transport. So here's an example of how they're shipped. They're, they're bubble wrapped for maximum protection, they're wrapped up in cardboard and then boxed into a, a, an appropriate size box. So if you have any questions on a GSC Systems propeller, I can guarantee you from personal experience that these propellers are the best you can get in the industry. So whether it be a paramotor or an ultralight or anything that spins a propeller for that matter, Rick and Brian right here at GSC Systems will be able to help you out. If you have any questions or, or comments, you can go check out their website at www.ultralightprops.com. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the sky soon.